Good morning. It is currently 10 to 9 and I need to leave in 10 minutes. Can't you tell I woke up late? I do, although I want to go check. See what happened to the boards. I tried to put my boards back up last night. I want to see. Okay, half of them survived. It's not the end of the world. Let's put the light on so you can see that. It's not terrible. Half of them survived. Half of them did not. I'm going to have to try and work out a better way to stick them to the wall. I'm curious as to why they stuck up, but not these ones. That makes not much sense, but it's something we're going to have to try and do tonight, maybe. That's um, irritating. It's unfortunately I'm not going to be able to vlog much this morning because like I said, I literally need to leave in 10 minutes or less. I've got a very big pickup run this morning and then a long, long day at work. So I'm going to just dart off now and start getting stuff sorted. Just trying to think what's going to be the best way to pick all the dogs up because I don't even know. Anyway. <sighs> so tired. I'll catch you when I get home from work. I am home, finally. I went to check on the soundboards and they've all fell down. All fell down. So I've tried a new strategy. I've put a larger amount of tape on them in three specific points and I've made sure to really 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 squish it onto the foam before putting it on the walls because I watched a couple of videos on how to do it and they all said to really 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 squish the tape on before you put it on the walls so I have done that. I'm still currently working. I am actually updating my business's social media stuff as well as checking my schedule for tomorrow and I still need to chop up the treats for tomorrow. Honestly working for yourself is long hours. I started to think I wasn't going to have time to eat and after a bit of negotiating with Jason we agreed. We got Papa John's. I'm telling myself it's okay though because realistically we only can really afford one takeaway a month so this is my one takeaway for the month and I'm just going to sit here and enjoy it and I'm going to save some for tomorrow and I will also point out that I actually haven't eaten since that cliff bar I had for breakfast so I've had only 130 I can't remember how much cliff bar 250? I think it's 250 calories or something like that. So I've only had 250 calories all day so far. So I'm having this. This is mine. <laughs> I don't care how many calories are in it right now. This is my whole calories for the day and I haven't eaten today. So it's fine. I am going to sit here and eat my pizza while I finish working. And then once I finish working and finish my pizza, I need to go upstairs in order to check on the square things that I started putting up. I need to check on those to see whether or not the new method is working or not. I will be checking on those after food. But right now I need food. I am starving. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'll leave that one and go back down because I'm only going to be two seconds. It is time, it is time to check on to see whether or not my new attempt at putting the boards up has worked or whether or not it has gone down in failure. We will soon find out. Oh, they stayed up! Oh, they stayed up! Oh, this is excellent. Oh, goody, goody, good, good, good. Yet they're not having any signs of falling down. That's good. I don't care about gaps. I don't care. I'm just glad they stuck up. This is excellent. We are now have to do, repeat this process with all of these. In fact, I'm not going to waste my time. Hmm, do I? Yeah, because I want it up sooner rather than later. Okay, I'm going to come back and do this in a minute. First, I need a brew and I also need to sit down and chill for a half an hour or so. Right, so the plan of action for the remainder of the night is currently about half past eight. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my cookie because I got some Papa John's cookie as well, which I do have just enough calories left for. I'm going to sit here and eat my cookie and then I'm going to prep treats for tomorrow. And then after I finish prepping treats for tomorrow, we are going to head upstairs and see if we can't finish that wall back to what I want it to be. Yes. Not bad. Breakfast, lunch, and tea are all ready for tomorrow. Oh, so I actually forgot one of the things I do need to do tonight is more work stuff. I've updated all my business social medias now, and now I need to transfer all the files off over onto the computer, which takes fucking forever. I am going to get on with that while watching some Connor Dog CA doing some Lolita stuff. o'clock at night and the panels have been stuck to the wall. What time did I do the panels? About half six. So the panels have been stuck to the walls for a few hours now so let's see if they survived. If they have I might try and pop a couple more up before. Then <sighs> they survived. The panels have finally survived. My latest trick has worked. Okay that's good news. They seem quite solid as well. Okay I will try and do one more layer and see if they survive the morning and if they do I will continue with this project tomorrow.
Okay, so we've now got this wall up in the same method that I did that corner. So I'm praying, absolutely praying that this stays up overnight. Part of me wants to do the rest of the wall as well. I don't know whether or not to do the rest of the wall or whether or not to leave it till tomorrow because that only took me 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes. That's all it took. Oh, do I do the rest of the wall? Yeah, I'm going to do the rest of the wall. And the main corner is done. Now I just need to hope and pray that it all stays up overnight. Wish of luck. It is now Tuesday, day number nine. And first things first, let's go check on the voice room. I really don't know what to expect in here. I'm really hoping it's not filled up. <gasps> it stayed up! It stayed up! It stayed up! It stayed up! Oh, camera focus. Oh my god, it actually stayed up. It finally worked. It finally worked. It's working! It's working! Oh, thank god for that. And it all looks still really secure and exactly where I left it. There's no sign of sagging, no sign of falling. I genuinely do not care about the gaps because at the end of the day, the gaps are going to be there because I didn't put it up perfectly. I didn't intend to put it up perfectly. On top of that, the house I live in is not exactly straight. Let's put it that way. I'm just happy it stayed up. That was all I wanted. I just wanted it to be up. I didn't really care about perfectness. I just wanted it to be up and it's up and it stayed. Yes, we are one step, we are one step closer to my voice-overing dreams and goals. Today I've actually got a quiet but long day at work, so I'm going to be restricted for time to do any exercises. I am going to try, because as soon as I finish work, I've got a BSL class at six o'clock, learning uh, my British Sign Language level one. And then I am really, really, really hoping that I could do some either mobility training or strength training tonight before bed. I don't know if I'm going to have time, but I'm at least going to try. Girls are out of bed. I think I've only got about 15 minutes before I need to leave for work. I really need to get up earlier. I think I might have some cheese on toast and finish off the bread, take a cliff bar with me for snack, take a protein shake with me for snack as well. God, I'm already out of breath just from going up and down the stairs twice. Cliff bar for later, that can be my snack for work and then protein shake. Yeah, I'm thinking protein shake because unfortunately I ran out of my Huel that I usually have and I need to order more. I can't quite afford to order more just yet so I'm going to have protein shake in my Huel shake and yeah, some cheese on toast for breakfast. <laughs> Also, before anyone has a go at me about the fact that I am microwaving cheese on toast, our oven, this thing, is very, very, very old. We don't like using it, so we try not to. Hence why we have the air fryer instead, in order to do most of our oven and, gr and grills and stuff like that. But I don't particularly want to put cheese on toast in the air fryer. It's a microwave instead, and it does the job perfectly fine. The bread doesn't come out toasty, it comes out softer, which I prefer. I don't like toast, I actually prefer my bread soft, even when it's meant to be toast. I prefer this way. I prefer I prefer to just throw it in the microwave, let the cheese melt and the cheese warms the bread up and it's all good. And then there will be some of you that will actually realise it's ready. Some of you will realise that, Ashley, you're meant to be lactose allergic. How are you eating cheese on toast? Well, the butter I use is actually vegan, so it doesn't contain any milk whatsoever. The cheese I use, usually I would use vegan cheese. However, in the last six months or so, I discovered that some, that cer I tried to say certain, some at the same time, some cheeses, like mature cheddar, gouda, edam, a lot of hard cheeses, because of the bacteria used in order to make them, the bacteria eats the lactose protein. And so as a result, a lot of cheeses like extra mature cheddar, gouda, edam, and all this, most of them are lactose free or only contain trace amounts of lactose. And as a result of that, I can actually get away with that trace amount of lactose without it affecting me. So long as it's the solid cheese, the extra mature, the gouda, the edam, like I mentioned, I can actually eat cheese on toast. And Baby Bell as well. Baby Bell is a type of edam cheese and they do actually have on their website that it is lactose toast free so I can actually enjoy cheese which I love cheese without having to worry about it setting off my allergies. I can't eat soft cheeses. Soft cheeses like brie and Leicester and stuff like that even though I love them more than anything those I can't eat because they still contain a high amount of lactose and they do set me off whereas extra mature cheddar perfectly fine. I'm 
năm 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 going on with my face today? Very weird. We're currently on day 10, or Wednesday day 10. And I actually thought yesterday was day 10. Apparently yesterday was day nine. Today's day 10, and I am actually gonna get some exercise done tonight, but I am currently... <sighs> I am currently freezing cold. This house is cold, like really cold, even with the heating on. So I've just put an extra heater on in the living room, and I'm going to wait for the room to warm up a bit, and then I am going to do some exercises for the day. I think I'm just going to stick with mobility exercises for now, but I have been really eager to start incorporating some strength training into my exercises as well. I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm personally ready to incorporate strength training yet. But I'm going to see how I feel, and if I feel like doing some chin-up training or pull-up training, I might do that. If I feel like doing some push-ups, I might do that. I kind of want to save it for next week, and then proper, like properly start my strength training from next week, once I've got into the habit of doing my mobility sessions more regularly and got back into running a bit more regularly. I don't want to overwhelm myself, which is why I don't want to do it all in one go, because I'll end up getting grumpy and I'll end up getting angry about the fact that... Oh my god. I keep yawning, apparently. I might actually have a go to frog stand after my mobility session and I might do some scapula pulls before I actually do anything else and then leave it at that. I've not decided yet. I just know that that part of my face is hot and I don't know why. It does look a bit weird right now, but I am cold so until I warm up, I ain't doing nothing.
Only three. Only got one. I've got to press up some menus back. Oh, congratulations. Only three. I can only do three. I can't manage the fourth. I'm three. Congratulations, Mr. Paddy. We are now on day 11 and I'm a bit of, in a bit of two minds about what to do tonight. I got home about five o'clock. I trained my parrots. I've had something to eat. I've <sighs> done a lot of work bits and it's now about six o'clock in the evening and I can't decide whether or not to do another training session. I'm feeling a bit drained tonight. I'm feeling quite tired or whether or not to spend the night just video editing. Hmm whether or not to just have the night off and just rest. No, I think I do want to do some training. I'm quite enjoying the mobility training. It would be nice to sneak a second session in now and then I can potentially take the evening off tomorrow or Friday. No, it's Thursday. It's th oh, my days are out of it uh, at the moment. I thought it was Wednesday for a second. It's not, it's Thursday. I think I'm going to get an extra session in tonight. I usually do a session on a Thursday. Or I'm trying to get into the habit of doing a session on a Thursday. I think I'll wait until 8 o'clock for my session. Because that seems to be the time that I'm most comfortable in doing it. I don't know why. I don't know whether or not I just enjoy the showers just before bed. But I seem to most eagerly want to do the sessions at around 8 o'clock. So I think I'm going to try and get some video editing done for the next two hours. And then do my mobility training at around eight o'clock and see how I get on. So it's now only half six but during that half an hour I've actually found out that the Tap Brothers which are basically who I do my calisthenics program training with. I do their rapid primal fitness and stuff like that. I found out that they're actually doing an abs challenge starting on the 22nd of January which I kind of want to join in on so I am going to be doing that challenge. If you want to find out early what's going on please Feel free to follow these vlogs. But for now, I am I need to go. I really need to start video editing. I've just sat here for half an hour scrolling through social, social media, which is not a good thing. So I am going to disappear and do some video editing. It's half past ten. I have been video editing since half six, seven o'clock, non-stop. I have put a thumbnail up though, and I have also uploaded the random day in my life vlog from back in June because I just wanted to get the vlogging practice in for when these vlogs go live eventually. I'm hoping to get them up eventually though but if I can get them up fast enough I might even be able to post as many as two a week to be able to catch up to where I'm up to which would be nice. Not impossible but nice. As of yet I'm actually looking through my YouTube analytics and I'm just looking at Technically, I should probably record the screen for this, but hey ho. I'm just looking at my watch time hours at the moment, and it has changed quite a bit. In the last 28 days, last one month, I've had 18 watch hours on my YouTube channel, which isn't surprising considering I've been extremely inactive. But what makes me giggle is all the spikes you can see is actually where I've uploaded a new video, and it's made my watch time hours go pew! Only a little bit because I still need to work on consistency. Well, it has actually uploaded. It has actually improved slightly. The only downside is now that I've actually spent all night video editing and checking my analytics. To be fair, I've only been checking my analytics for the last half an hour. I don't have time to do my exercises. I need to go to bed now. <sighs> and this is where I always struggled in the past because I always ended up being over busy at night or hyper focusing on something like this and going crazy and completely losing track of time to the point where there was no time left to exercise. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to attempt to get up early like I always attempt to do. I'm going to try and do the stretches though. I did some stretches this morning from Tom Morrison. He 
posted some stretches literally this morning that Jenny shared. And I had a go at that this morning, just so I did something. I was really hoping to get another mobility session in tonight. Time for bed before I fall asleep at my desk. I will see you in the morning when I'm doing my new morning stretches. So I'm still on my analytics. <laughs> I can't believe this. A video that I uploaded back in 2016. This was one of my first ever videos. This was one of the first videos I ever put on my channel. And it's a step-by-step -step setup guide for an Ava Media Lite, which I still have. Haven't used it in years, but I still have it. And the reason I put up this video is because I could not find a decent how-to guide anywhere on YouTube. So I was like, stuff it. I'm making my own. And people are still watching it. That video is from 2016 and it's still getting views. That's amazing. But I'm just looking on the analytics now and I've just had a look. Since uploaded, it's had nearly 100,000 views. I didn't even realise that. I didn't, I genuinely did not know that that video had generated so many views for my channel. I had no idea. And on top of that, in its lifetime, it's gained 4,800 watch hours. That would be enough to put me into monetization if I had enough subscribers, which I don't. But that one video alone, oh my god, that's in, that is definitely the most, just wow. I, I'm, I'm lost for words right now, but that is just outstanding. To think that even eight years later, wow, to think that eight years later that video is still getting views, still generating watch hours for my channel is insane. That is so cool. I had no idea it was at nearly a hundred thousand views. That's unbelievable. That's just wow. That's just wowie wow on so many wow wows. I can't even put into words that's just ridiculous. I can't even believe it. I'm, just, I'm shocked. It's got higher attention as well, to be fair. Gutted in a way. I've had this channel since 2016. I've been uploading to this channel since 2016. I used to be monetized years ago. The requirements for monetization was a lot lower back then. You only needed 100 subscribers or 200 subscribers. No, 100 subscribers and 10 videos on your channel, something like that. So I was actually monetized for a very, very small period of time and it was only about six Six months after I got monetized that YouTube changed the rules to say that you needed a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours and I was nowhere near. I have not even reached a thousand subscribers eight years later. But looking at that video is just knowing it's still generating stuff for my channel eight years later is just amazing. But what made me laugh though is when the monetization requirements were so low, when it was only like 100 subscribers, 10 videos on your channel, I was earning on average two pennies a day week. A week. I had to think about it then. I was earning on average two to five pence a week. I wasn't earning a lot. I had a really small channel and majority of my income was coming from this one video. If I remember correctly, you still needed the same $100 threshold in order for the money to get paid out to you. I never met that threshold. I never earned a hundred dollars on this channel to actually get paid out. Because I never earned enough to get paid out, that money just went back into Google. I wasn't allowed to access it. It was it's heartbreaking but it's also funny to think about at the same time is eight years later I'm still trying to get monetized again. I'm still trying to meet the basic requirements for monetization. Right I've talked enough already through this video. I'm gonna go to bed and I am going to see what tomorrow brings. It's a quiet day at work so I'm gonna have loads of time in the in the evening and Friday evenings are usually mine and Jason's night. I'm still gonna try and get a little bit of video editing in because I've got a lot of videos I need to catch up with and I'm also... what's the other thing I'm gonna do? I forgot. I'm also going to try and get up early enough to get some training in before I go to work. So I don't have to go to work until 10 o'clock tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see how I do.